It's from space that the most comprehensive evidence about what's happening in the Amazon is gathered. Heat-sensitive imaging from NASA's Aqua satellite suggests that the burning is going on at the greatest level since 2010. Images from the International Space Station chart the smoke that at times is causing the skies above Brazilian cities to go dark. There's no doubt then that the current problem is substantial. An NGO, INPE, has charted 73,000 Amazon fires so far this year. Though that figure includes some outside Brazil, in Peru and Bolivia, that share part of the enormous rainforest. Critically, though, INPE has pointed the finger at the Bolsonaro government, saying fires are 80% up on last year following his inauguration at the start of this year and relaxation of environmental controls. President Bolsonaro today televised a meeting on how to respond to the crisis. Nós vamos, se Deus quiser, juntos achar solução para isso e que vai dar uma satisfação para o mundo, inclusive. E pessoas com pensamento, como o senhor Macron, ele deve pensar duas, três vezes antes de querer. É... That rebuke followed President Macron linking ratification of a trade deal to action on the Amazon. Also at the G7 summit, nations marshaled $22 million to help fight fire. President Bolsonaro, an avowed climate change skeptic, has described that cash as a colonial insult. So what's the right way to incentivize better cooperation? Bolsonaro, like any Brazilian president, uh, is very, very uh, concerned when it seems that the international community is, or is, is ordering him about. I mean, believe it or not, the Brazilian army still has very current plans to uh, push back any invasion of the Amazon area by North America or Europe. It seems absurd to us, but actually people really have believed this over the decades in Brazil. And Bolsonaro is of a military background, and certainly this is part of his DNA, as it is of some other Brazilians. So I'm afraid the sort of things that have been saying about turning the Amazon into some kind of international protectorate are exactly the wrong thing to say. And indeed, at the weekend's Beer at Summit, there was no consensus about doing more for the Amazon, whether that meant committing substantial funds or mounting a sustained campaign to pressurise the Brazilian government. Critically, it was President Trump who preferred to sideline the issue. I think it definitely does make a difference what the US does, with the US you know, being one of the largest, the second largest contributor to climate change. And I think it's given Bolsonaro the sense that uh, he can he can get away with more and that you know if the US is not going to sign on to climate agreements and take action against climate change why should Brazil it helps to fuel his argument and and um, give credit to his argument that economic growth is more important that why should Brazil sacrifice its own economic benefits for the rest of the world it's really Brazil's decision alone the autumn could bring answers of its own, with the heavy rains that usually moderate the burning season. But the deeper question will remain of whether the Amazon environment is purely a question for Brazil and its neighbours, or whether the wider world should have a say.